If you've been following a Mavic 3, you've noticed these green dots in your photos. Today I'll show you how to remove them from both your photos and your videos by using Adobe Creative Cloud, After Effects, Photoshop, and even giving away a free edit to someone who subscribes to our newsletter. Okay, for removing the green lens flares in Photoshop, we're first going to go to the top left, select the lasso tool, and then zoom in to the lens flare dots. Once we've got them selected on our screen, we're going to select them with the lasso, tracing around them, you know, as neatly and closely as we can, as that will be the area that will be automatically generated with fill. We'll right click it, scroll down to content aware fill, and click on content aware fill. From this point then, we're going to deselect certain parts of where the uh, fill is being generated from. So in this case, I remove the brake light, I remove some of the shoreline up on top, and then I also trimmed out some of the water. That way I get kind of more of a centrally located area around where we're getting the fill information from. And you can see on the right side, it adjusts as I clean up this area. And then we'll click apply and from there we can see this is our first step of filling the area so I'm gonna zoom in even more here and then next we're going to use a clone stamp tool so using the clone stamp tool we will alt click in a certain spot then you'll see the plus symbol show up there so alt click and then we'll click and paint brush the same as that area over the top of it so the plus is what we're forecasting over to the brush area. And you can see here, I'm extending the pier back to replace the missing area from where we did the content aware fill for the dots. And I'll fast forward this a little bit. And here we've, we've completed the brushing and clone stamp tool. We will zoom out and you'll see that you really can't notice a difference from, you know, what the original photo would have looked like without the green dots. For removing one of the Mavic 3 lens flares in the videos, we will be using Adobe After Effects. So here I'm just scrolling through the video to identify where the lens flare really starts to show up. And it'll show up in a shot like this where you're panning across the sun. So now I'm going up to the mask tool and clicking Q until I get a circle. And then I move down to the lens flare over here by using space to grab and move the image. And then I create a mask around the lens flare. And then I go over to the mask settings and I set it to none. That way it's not changing anything and we can easily see and verify that the green dot is within the mask. Then I right click on the mask and select track mask. And we'll go frame by frame for a little bit and make sure that the mask is following position. And I also want to follow scale and rotation because at one point in the video it becomes a double dot. So here I'm dragging the mask over the green dot again and then going forward another frame, dragging it over it. And so some of the edits you have to go frame by frame, especially when it's over a noisy area such as these trees. But then later on it will start to pick it up and then you can hit the play button and it will just automatically adjust the circle around the dot. So as we move forward here, now we can see that the circle is tracking the dot much more accurately and we'll go through this for the whole video and then we'll move on to the next step. Now 
it's always good to go back to the full view and just make sure running back through all the keyframes that it's tracking the green dot throughout and kind of as a nice smooth motion. That usually works the best for the content aware fill, which we will be doing later in this. When we are directly under the sun, you can start to see that uh, two of the green dots appear in this image. So I've increased the size that of the mask. That way we cover both the green dots and that little extra glow around them to try to remove as much of that kind of harsh green glow in the imagery as possible. So once we've tracked the mask across the whole portion of the video that we want to go through, we have to set the mask to subtract. So here you can see with a grid behind it that we've subtracted and we've removed that area. That's where we want to fill the green dot and replace it with the background. So next step is setting up the content aware fill. So if you don't have it on your right side panel, you can go up to window and check the content aware fill box. For my current settings, I generally set the alpha expansion to 5 and use the object fill method without any lighting adjustments. Um, so you select those and then you click on generate fill layer and it will go through and process and identify all the layers, analyze them, and then pretty much do the same thing as we did in Photoshop earlier and content fill each frame throughout the video. Once the clip is done processing, we can verify that it has actually filled the content aware layer by looking on the left side in the corner, we can see this new fill layer has been added to our timeline. And from this, we can also play back the video and see that the green dot has been replaced with the background in the area. While it's not perfect, it is much better than having that green dot draw your viewer's attention to that area. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful as kind of a starting point for removing the green dots and lens flares. We will also be giving away a edit for both your photos and your videos to someone who subscribes to our newsletter on our website at ngharial.com.